Scorched Earth is back, and I welcome you to my 100 days journey as a Wild West cowboy. And whether we're traversing through wyvern trenches or the vast open deserts, we have to be careful at every corner. As most maps have areas that are safe, and these lands, that's not an option. Every second that passes by could be your last. But worry not, I have a friend joining me on this epic ride to victory. We will face the scorching heat and overpowering Mother Nature together. This is episode one of 10. Each episode will be 10 days, followed by a final compiled movie of our experiences. Watch us fight for our lives as we attempt to ascend, and with that, let's get this show on the road. I'm gonna sit here on this rock and wait for you. <laughs> I knocked him out. Oh. Yo, what's up with that? I'm overheating. Oh my god. Yep. 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 I need to run. Yo, what do you want me to do? That is absurd. Yeah, I'm gonna die. That's so unfair. I'm literally dying as soon as I spawn in. Just sprint to the water. I don't Whoa. care what's around me. Just go. Just go. Just go. Yo. Oh my gosh. Get, are, are you still overheating? Get in the water. You are burnt into a crisp right now. You like my arms? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, some of these trees look insane. Look at this. It's so beautiful. A few moments later. Dude, we're gonna die! I'm dehydrated. Drink. Drink! I'm not drinking. Oh, the, putting those on actually made me stop overheating. Mine is tamed. What's up, buddy? It's the dream team. The squad -a rooney Is that a vulture? We do not have good uh, rep with vultures. No, we do not. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, no. Our first time playing this, that's all we died to. Yo, what's that sound? What I was asking you about. No. Oh, no, you no, did it. No, it can't you be. No, you did it. It can't you be. You did it, you did it, you did it. What'd you do? There's three of them. It can't be, dude. There's three of them. Oh, my I'm God. I'm gone. Which way are we going? Which way are we going? I don't know. I just I ran. Kill me. I'm going to die. Yep, I'm dead. Why did I spawn this far? I can't even make it back to my stuff. <sighs> no way! A no, 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 drone just killed me. Uh, there's a sandstorm. I need to make two more walls or we're screwed. If that isn't the scariest looking thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, that looks terrifying. That is the scariest looking thing I've ever seen in a video game. I think it goes without saying that we were having trouble finding our footing in this map. All we wanted to do was make a tent so we were protected from the weather, except we could not find silk to save our lives. Aside from silk, our weapons were a huge issue. We didn't have strong enough weapons to kill really anything other than jerboas, but good luck finding jerboas with all the foliage. What is growling at me, dude? As you can see, we already have our basic tools, but with some grinding, I was able to make a bow and and some arrows. I'm hoping with this we can kill a Morelatops or anything else that's not too strong. Excuse me, what the hell am I witnessing? The glory of all fish is just floating. I killed him, but now he's floating. I'm cold. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. He's on me. No, oh, dude. There's not a singular way any of this is happening. You did not bring him to our base. Oh. How's it My. going down there? I'm looking straight. <gasps> no way. <laughs> you drug a damn Rex to our house. What? <laughs> this was by far the roughest day one I've ever had in this game. So with that, me and Drake are gonna get some much needed sleep and we'll see you in the morning. Day two, we crafted up some boomerangs and attempted to get ourselves some Morella tops can't make it up here, right? Boomerangs are honestly one of the most effective and efficient ways to knock out early game tames without breaking the bank on resources. What am I supposed to do? I knocked him out. I knocked him out. There's no way that worked. I'm trying to knock a second one out for you. By sunrise, Drake had his own Morella tops knocked out, and mine was already halfway to taming. While waiting, the search for silk continued. I didn't know if they changed the way it looked, and I was picking every single bush I saw with no luck. Why am I freezing, bro? I'm next to a campfire. After naming my Morella tops Camel Crush, I headed back to our little pad. <laughs> Camel Crush? Drake was getting started on narcotics, but the important thing right now was getting a Morella top saddle because that'll allow us to get a lot more narco berries, which in turn gets us a lot more narcotics. After dealing with the nearby vultures, I was finally able to get enough hide to make the Morella top saddle. While doing so, we were just minding our own merry business when this happened. There's dire wolves, there's dire wolves, there's dire wolves run. We're dead. Not only did the pack of dire wolves kill Draco, but... Okay, my Morella tops is dead. I hate this game. 
<laughs> After all of that, our main focus was hide. We needed hide for literally everything. Armor, weapons, saddles, and luckily there were a few low-level Yankees nearby which make for easy targets. After re-securing another tame and getting saddles for them, me and Drake should be on our way to having a permanent base location and somewhat moving forward. No way. No way. I'm sorry. I did not know you were in a pack home, boy. I'm so sorry. Just keep trying. Just keep trying. Just keep trying. Everything will be fine. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, I knocked him out. After knocking out yet again another Morella Tops for myself, I saw another one and decided to get it for Drake. He was off doing god knows what, I think he was playing with a Dodicarus or something, but nonetheless, both of us are about to have a camel very soon. Work with yeah, me, buddy. Oh my gosh, I knocked him out. There's like a storm or something, bro. There's thunder and like, but there's no rain. Oh, I see it coming. Where is it? What is happening? Something's happening. Oh god. <laughs> no, <gasps> the, the skies are getting so dark. Why is the storm coming in so quick? There ain't no way we're about to survive this. There was definitely no shortage of weather effects on this map. And I gotta say, this was probably the most terrifying one. I swear to God, if a tornado drops down. Dude, I would scream like a little girl. <laughs> Wife would wake up and come kick my ass and then send me to bed. And I would never play this game again. But tornadoes <laughs> seriously came down here. After killing one final Jerboa, I finally had enough to make a second to Morella top saddle and I was on my way to greatness. All right, mine's tamed. I whistled him to stop. Oh, talk about berry gathering. The Morella Tops is a G. Dude, I am getting all kinds of stuff. Both of our Morella Tops were saddled and fully tamed at this point, so it was just time to fill up their water and we were going to be on our way. Speaking of on our way, I found a motherless baby kangaroo, so I decided to become his mother. I have a kangaroo. Our main goal was to make it all the way to Green Ob, which took a huge portion of the day, so we could set up shop here and hopefully be safe. Draco approved of the area, so I got started on shopping down trees and breaking rocks in the surrounding area that way we would have a flat surface to work with this is really all we spent our time doing for the rest of day too because on scorched earth if you don't have a base the map punishes you exactly like this we weren't even finished with the base yet and another sandstorm rolled in so we're just gonna have to work through it oh oh i can't see a damn thing why is it green? Why is it green? Why is it green? Oh, I was in my inventory, bro. I just got out and saw it was all green. Things were looking up for us, but that's just the thing. It was going too good for too long. Something had to happen. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I need your help what? now. Yep, I'm dead. All of that for nothing. Day three, we continued on with the silk search, and sure enough, it was these purple flowers. You just have to keep at it for a while just to get one measly silk. Oh my god, it is. I'm getting silk. I can't pick it. I can't pick it. I want to get silk. Let me get silk. It took us about a good 10 minutes to get enough silk to craft a whip, which then would get me more silk. Still slow, but then I could finally craft a tent. That is the most excruciating, annoying noise I have ever heard in my life. <laughs> Bro, what in the heck is that? <laughs> Luckily, we got our tent crafted at the perfect time. What is your thingy doing? Get him Dude. under control. Wait, it's not mine, mine that's, that's mine. yours. That's mine, that's mine, that's mine. My, my, my bad, G. Oh, dude, I'm straight chilling right now. Yo, this is not the 1600s. Alright, 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 forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> I now know why there's so many storms, because I fell into Wildcard's money pit trap of buying Arx Bob's tail so I could get some fancy skins. Because there's literally nothing else to do for 10 minutes while you're waiting for a desert storm to pass, so take my $30 and make me look like a cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, partner. Yo, this outfit is looking so crispy and fresh. I can't even begin. Besides being stuck in a tent with Drake for 10 minutes, whipping him, spending $30 on pointless skins, all I did in the evening was work on arrow crafting for the days to come. We got some arrows. Now I'm going to drop some stuff off and I'm going to go look for some metal. And I will not return home until I have metal. Day four, I finally found metal, but the whole trip was short lived. Oh shoot, raptors. There's no way it goes it goes down like this. Unfortunately, Sensei died to a pack of raptors, but don't fret just yet. You know how Ark does Ark things sometimes? Well, here's one of those situations where Ark arced us. And there's a storm coming. What? Oh, uh, can we? And my game's crashing. 
What the f dude? It, 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 it just set us back so far. I mean, Sensei's back alive, so if the game wants to act like that, then I'll take the I'll take the win, dude. Anyways, after all of that, I finally got to a metal node that was safe and raptorless and gathered as much as possible. <gasps> I have a thorny dragon. How do you have a thorny dragon? Baby. No way. I didn't even see the baby, bro. There's no way you just got a thorny dragon like that. No, it's a vulture, bro. Oh my God, he's attacking me. He's attacking me. Great. I did nothing to him. He killed my thorny dragon, bro. You guys are gonna find out really quickly that throughout this playthrough, all of Drake's victories are most of the time short-lived. Aside from that, at the moment, I was working on getting hide for a forge because honestly, not having metal tools and a crossbow by day four is a huge L. Oh, we got metal cooking up. We got metal cooking up. It's about damn time, cousin. It is about damn time. Following the forge was a smithy. And then with that, you already know that a metal pick comes next. All right, I got a metal pick for you back at base. I spent a lot of my time gathering metal today because we're gonna need it for crossbows, more tools, and also saddles. And while I did so, I think Drake was figuring out how hard Scorched Earth really is. Yo, right. yo, 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 yo. No, I killed him. No. My Morala Tops is dead. It's sad that your Morala Tops died, but... It gives us some hide that we needed. You're a psychopath. Though it was gonna be extremely expensive, I figured no better time than now to get started on making adobe. The Morella Tops was actually fantastic at gathering cactus sap, but the other part of this is sand, which I don't have access to yet. Well, I mean, I do, just not good rates. We need a dodic for that first, but that'll come with time. We're moving oh up in the freaking world, man. Ooh, the crossbow mm. looks crispy. Yeah, it does. Damn, brother. Next up was crafting a bunch of Trank Arrows because it's time to get something that can do more damage and have more survivability than a damn camel. But before we move forward, I'd just like to say this is my favorite thing in any video game ever. With the Arts Bobtails, they added a structure skin, which you can easily apply to structures. That's what Adobe looks like? No way. All I had to do what was, was craft one. This, no, this is the skin. Oh, dude, 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 dude. No, no, here. no. There's another wolf. There's another wolf. What have you done? You are underestimating these freaking Morella tops. Dead. Anyways, we began looking for any type of small carnivore that was rideable. So a dire wolf, a raptor, or anything in that class. And speaking of, we found this level 112 raptor that I began knocking out. But unfortunately, he went down underwater and his oxygen was dropping, meaning he was going to die. Luckily, there was another one. It was a low level, but Drake started taming that. Not even 30 seconds later, a level 116 dire wolf showed up on our front doorstep and I began knocking him out. Man, if he just ate a little quick. Quicker, dude. No way. How did he get up here? What the dog water was that? It took a lot of time, but with the help of Drake, I finally got this high level dire wolf put down, and this was going to be a huge turning point for us. <laughs> oh, he's knocked out. Unfortunately, the baby showed up, but it wasn't tameable because we knocked the parent out instead of killing it. So I had to put this thing down, but at least, at least it was free prime meat. To finish off this very eventful day, Ghost came to life and we took our very first ride together. And as everything happens for a reason, out of nowhere, a level 40 baby dire wolf walked straight up to Drake and asked to be tamed. Day five, I wanted to test out how strong my dire wolf was and it almost died. He's already almost dead. He's already almost dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Also, I wasn't planning on taming a Paraceratherium, but there's a baby here and it's a decent level. So screw it. All right. Yeah, we got, we got a Paracer. I don't think we'll ever use it but it's something. We got one. One of my main goals for today was to get us a thorny dragon for wood production because our base is looking rough. Luckily, there was one right in our backyard. Though a low level, I don't really care since it's a farming dino. All right, thorny dragon's knocked out. While waiting for my thorny boy to wake up, I imprinted on Rick and then also got a sickle made so silk would never be a problem again. Look at the way it makes the floors look. It's so much cooler. I mean, it's still thatch. I can tell you guys now that building our base for the first 10 days was really slow because all all of the materials to do it are expensive as hell to craft. Just from that one plant, I got 88 silk. That's crazy, bro. The reason silk was important right now is because we were still rocking hide gear and we wanted to make desert gear. With the desert armor set, we'll be a lot more resilient to all the weather effects on this map. Two of those, two of those, two of those, and two of those. Let's go. We got desert gear. No, you didn't. 
No, you come back, Peggle. You're dying. Can we just take a second? We've come such a long way in the past one day. It's insane. Day six, I waited on Draco to get ready because we were going to do a couple of things today. First things first, you know, Bob's Tales offers all this new stuff. So I had to craft a shovel to see what it was all about. That would <gasps> be crazy. Yo, look what it just did. What? Just created a water spout. After having our fun, we started knocking out a nearby dodic because we needed better production for stone and sand. Basically, this guy was gonna make Adobe a hell of a lot easier. He's running, he's a tra No, he's just switching. People. Let's go. While the dodic was taming, I had Drake follow me up the hill to try and find an Anki so we could knock out two birds with one stone. I'm exploring note over here. Oh, no way. That's gonna be a huge experience boost. After grabbing the note, me and Drake found some nearby Ankies, and I gave him the job of taming one so I thing. could go take care of the Dodic. With the combination of my Dire Wolf being a high level, plus the Explorer note, he's doing some really good damage now, and his health is pretty decent, chilling at 4,000. When the Dodic woke up, I had some issues getting him home. Come on, man. What are you doing? That's not a thing. After the Dodic was done being a butthead, I made him a saddle and then we got to work. Oh my God. The rates, even with a low level Dodic, were 10 times better than what they were. So I was happy. But with that, we got a storm rolling in. So we got to call it a night. In the early hours of day seven, I got more Adobe walls crafted and placed because this base isn't going to finish itself. We got our own little Spanish style house from like the 1600s. Unfortunately, throughout the whole building process, Drake was out getting metal when he died to a superheat, leaving his dire wolf unsafe and dying to a Thyla. Like what, what, what do I do? Like how is that my- Thyla's gonna kill me. I'm coming. Why are you on me still? Why are you on me still? I'm gonna die again. I think it goes without saying that day seven started out pretty rough, but we still need to keep pushing forward. We need an Anki saddle and a Parasur saddle, which both need metal. Shortly after I crafted said saddle and Drake found out something cute. And while I waited on him to show me this massive discovery, I learned how good the Parasurs are at gathering cactus sap. Oh, there's no way. I'll be home in about 15 minutes because my Parasur is walking at a mile an hour. While I have the next 20 minutes to explain because this is what I'll be doing, I wanted to tell you guys that I thought it was just an us thing, but I looked it up and everyone's having the issue of storms that are too frequent. We're losing half a day every now and then because we just have to stay inside. Dude, I feel like I could literally pop popcorn, watch an entire movie, take a poop, and come back <laughs> before I come home with this guy. This is ridiculous. Oh, hell yeah, 600 clay. Yo, this car is huge. Hold up, hold up. Where is it? I did not know it was going to be this big. No way. Yes, his discovery was a cart that could be towed by certain dinos. All we needed to do was find something that could tow this that had decent weight so we could put the Anki on the back, farm metal, and have the weight reduction from the Anki. Only issue is we don't have that available to us yet. So for now, it sucks. Man is literally Tokyo drifting in our front yard and just sending me <laughs> into outer space. <laughs> For the remainder of day seven, I worked on finishing up the base and Drake, I don't know what Drake did. Day eight, we were trying to come up with a plan on what to do. It was hard deciphering whether we should keep working on the base because we know we'll need it or if we should go out and get new creatures because we also need that. But we came to the mutual decision that we should finish the base because if your home life's not good, your work life's not gonna be good either. Okay, never knew thatch stairs were a thing. I actually don't think they were ever a thing. And these look sick. It's like bamboo stairs. Anyways, here's another building montage. Yeah. Yo! <laughs> what kind of door is that? It's a secret doorway, bro. You're gonna freaking love this. And so am I. This is gonna be so sexy. Okay, this is taking way too long. I'm gonna put some skins on the walls and then day nine, we have a house. Welcome to our humble abode.
Day 10, me and Drake began preparing to go out on a big adventure. We got 180 more narcotics coming our way. There's a few things that we've been missing out on. Number one being Argies. We need flyers to get anywhere. And number two, crystal. But before doing anything, Drake wanted the smoke. No, oh, this takes more skill. No way! <laughs> <laughs> Sit down! Sit down! <laughs> All right, I got the RG trap. Oh, I'm waking up from my nap. The plan was to first go get crystal so we could make water jars. That way we could be out for longer without having to come home and drink. Also, I cannot make these things up. As soon as we went to go leave, a sandstorm hit. There ain't no way. There is not a singular chance that a freaking sandstorm just hit. They said, you want to leave the base? Not on my watch. All I ended up doing for the rest of the day since there was a storm was gather flint for arrows. All I had was the 41 trank arrows on me. And if we wanted a high level RG, that's not going to cut it. Ain't no way, chief. Back up, thorny dragon. Back up, back up, back up. I have no stamina. Yo, player, turn around. It just got pitch black outside. And we don't have any lights on the inside of our... I can't see anything literally nothing by the time we suited up and got our kits ready it was day 11 so we'll save that for next time once upon a time there was a great beast called the megatherium <laughs> that's all we have time for today my friends thank you for watching and i'll see you next episode i love you all